Hey, my name is Ryan Dory here and I'm a physiotherapist and I practice at a health space, Bondi Junction. Today I wanted to talk about upper cross syndrome and upper cross syndrome is essentially a poor posture that we've adopted over time of sitting down and with everybody we live in really sedentary lifestyles now. It's essentially if we just have a look over here, a problem that starts at the hips, so we start at the pelvis, we start to sink back into our chair, as we sink back into our chair our shoulders start to round, our neck starts to poke. And even during COVID, a lot of us are working off laptops, so we're having to bend over even more and do our, our laptop lifestyle. We need to get ourselves out of that. So firstly, if you, if you haven't actually uh, done it yet, getting the right ergonomic advice and getting the right ergonomic setup of your chair is super, super important. So making sure that your seating arrangement, if you are off a laptop, actually making sure that you elevate your laptop up so you can actually have a much, much better posture. The other things are starting to work on some of the deficiencies that you'll see when you're in this upper cross posture. So when we adopt this posture, naturally our pecs are gonna be really, really tight at the front. Our neck muscles are gonna to start to poke forward and we'll become deficient in certain neck muscles. And we tend to become a little bit uh, deficient in our back muscles as well. So today I'm just gonna give you three exercises that you can do to help counter that pressure you're putting on your body every day at work. So first exercise is for your deep neck flexors. Your deep neck flexors are a little muscle group that are cruising through here. And what they essentially do is they help tuck the chin in and keep a much straighter neck. Now this is super important for people with, if you're getting a lot of injuries through the upper neck or if, you're getting, if you've even had a disc injury in the lower neck, doing these chin tuck exercises helps to relax your neck and put it in a much better posture. So we're gonna lay down this way. And in this posture, I always say, make just a double chin, not four chins. So just a little tuck in the chin. Imagine your, your uh, chin is on a set of railroad tracks and you're pushing it along the set of the railroad tracks. So we're not nodding our chin in like this, we're just tucking our chin in like that. You should feel the top of your neck start to come into the bed a little bit more. In that position, all you're gonna do is you're gonna tuck the chin in, you're just gonna raise your head up keeping that nice chin tuck so that your head is just slightly touching the bed but not completely off. You're gonna hold it for about three seconds, come back down and again, tucking the chin in, raising and back down. You should feel after your three seconds that you're getting a bit of pressure through the front of the neck, the front of the neck's activating. If you're getting all your pressure at the back of the neck, if you're feeling it in the back of the neck, it's probably because you're poking up in the neck too much, which is jamming up the back of your neck. Aim for about 10 repetitions and do threads, thrusts, and do three sets. So the next exercise is for our back muscles. So what usually happens is we, we adopt this posture here. Our upper traps up here get really, really tight and our pecs get tight and our back muscles, our lower traps and our thoracic muscles get a little bit weak. So what we're trying to do is get out of that posture and open up. And doing a rowing movement is a really, really good way of making that happen. So with our rower, all you need with this is you just need a bit of band. Ideally, the rowing movement is a, is a pretty strong movement. So you can pick a band that's a little bit more of a heavier band. I'm using the black band here. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to, to pull the band downwards and squeeze in at the bottom of our back rather than squeezing up here with our traps. The way I always explain it is as you pull down, Try and drop your elbows and squeeze your elbows as far down the ribs as you can as you come down. And that'll help you feel it in the middle of your back rather than at the top. And then you're gonna come back to the start. Squeeze downwards and come back to the top. A couple of things people do wrong is they'll use the upper traps like this where they lift up too much or sometimes they'll move their elbows back so for too far when they come back. So you can stop it kind of at the rib level and work when you squeeze in as you do for this one here. So another great exercise for the, for the lower traps. And so the last exercise we're gonna do is for your pecs. Well, most of the time when we're in that sort of upper cross posture, our pecs get really, really tired and they start to hunch forward like this. So actually opening yourself up in the pecs is a really, really good idea um, to help kind of correct that posture. For this one here, it is the world's best rehab exercise. Tell your partner that you are on rehab duties to get out of whatever chores you're doing. You're gonna last this for about five minutes. You're just gonna lay on your back, 
with your arms open, you're going to have a nice long roller, which you can place your, your bottom right on the edge and so that your head's supported at the top. And then from there, you're just going to make a bit of a W with your arms, which will just help open up your, your pecs here. You don't need to rip your shoulders back, just let gravity do its job. And you're just going to have your arms here like this, and you're going to go from a W up to a Y back down. You're just going to do this for about sort of at least three minutes, just letting yourself unravel. Good to do at the end of the day after you're in the office. Cool.